Have you ever flicked to the wrong scene in Ecamm Live, completely forgotten your train of thought and fumbled around trying to get to back where you should have been in the middle of a live production? I know I have countless times. Well, hopefully all that's about to come to an end and uh, I'm going to tell you how in this video. Hello and welcome to Take One Tech. My name's Alec. And uh, if you have watched any of my other videos, no doubt you will have seen on countless occasions <laughs> in the middle of uh, me trying to present something, uh, coming to a point where I say, oh, I didn't mean to go to that scene. And then I look down at my trusty stream deck, <laughs> fumbling around for the right button to get me back to where I wanted to be, or at least where I was previously. And uh, if you do that, then it is very easy to get thrown off what you were speaking about, off your train of thought and whatever. And although I do record all of my videos generally, apart from my weekly live streams, I still do aim to take them all in, uh, to make them all rather in one take. So being thrown off my train of thought like that is a little bit frustrating. And uh, I don't know about you as the viewer, but I always leave them in anyway. <laughs> so I'm sorry that you've had to suffer these uh, very unprofessional mistakes that I've been making. Well, anyway, this video aims to rectify this and if you do this as well then there is something built into Ecamm Live which can help you and this is another one of my videos this week of things that I learned from Doc Rock <laughs> because it was watching his uh, uh, daily uh, tips and tricks on the Ecamm Live uh, Facebook page where I believe I heard this or maybe on one of his other programs I can't remember but anyway it is the simple to step keystroke you need to remember which is command backspace command backspace will always take you back to whichever scene you were previously on so it's not going to be the next scene or the previous scene in your list of scenes it will just simply return you to the previous scene that you were on so if ever you get stuck you all you need to know is to press that so that got me thinking well that's what i need to have as a button on my stream deck i need a button that i can easily press so that if anything goes wrong in a case of emergency, I can always get back to where I was. So I thought I'd program that, but then I came up against a problem in Stream Deck. It's not actually a problem in Stream Deck. It's just yet another thing I wasn't aware of. So that's really the purpose of this video. Uh, it, command backspace doesn't warrant a video in itself, I don't think. But still, this video should help you with your uh, Stream Deck programming if you need to program anything that involves a backspace. And I'll show you why. If I come over to my uh, screen sharing, uh, as you can see, I've got my little space here ready for my emergency icon right down in the bottom corner where I can easily just uh, touch it without even looking down at the stream deck. So I've got an icon to put there and I hope you will appreciate it in case of a scene emergency. That is the button that I'm going to put there so that it stands out from all of the others. <laughs> and so what I need to do is actually program that in as a button. Now, as I've said many times before, I'm always impressed by just the number of buttons that uh, Ecamm Live has created it, um, as sort of built in functions for uh, the Stream Deck. And what this means is that even if you aren't in Ecamm Live as an active application, when you press any of these buttons, it will still activate that within Ecamm Live. Uh, so we do have a next scene and a previous scene. However, there isn't a built-in button for this return to the previously active scene. Uh, and so because there isn't a button, but we have got a hotkey, what we always have to make sure is that if we've come out of Ecamm Live and maybe we might be uh, doing a demonstration of something in a website, for example, then in that case, Safari would be the, uh, the active application. And so if we were to just press Command uh, Backspace, then it would trigger that heart key for Safari rather than Ecamm Live. So we want to make sure we always come back and make Ecamm Live the active application. And the way that we do that is by using a multi-action and actually set it to go to Ecamm Live first. So what I'm going to do is right click in here and I'll select create multi-action. And then let's just make it look pretty right from the start. If I drag my uh, icon over onto the uh, space for the icon, there we go. Ah, that didn't quite work. One second. Ah, it's not liking me today. There we go. 
So I've got my pretty little icon on there. So now this is a multi-action. So we want to edit that by clicking the little arrow next to it. And then here we want to have two actions. The first one is going to be, uh, we're going to use the open, which is in the list of actions for the system. So we're just going to drag that one in. And then from here, we'll just select Ecamm Live. And as I've mentioned before on some other videos, uh, if you have uh, not got the application open, then obviously it will open it. But if the application is open, then this will serve to just simply switch to that application. Uh, one second, there we go. So that now is going to go to Ecamm Live. And then the next thing we're going to do is enter the hotkey. So the hotkey is command backspace. Now this is where there is a bit of a problem. So when I press command backspace, what it does is it actually just deletes the action. So you come in here and add on the hotkey again, because in here you can actually click a little arrow to assign the hotkey. So we've got backspace, but now we haven't got the command backspace. So. There'll be people out here screaming at the uh, screen <laughs> and telling me what to do, but I'm sure there'll be others like me who didn't realize that what you can actually do is if you click the down arrow and then you hold down the command key, you'll notice it puts the command in front of all of those options. So that is how you would select command backspace as the hotkey. Uh, otherwise, as I say, if you just click in here and it says observing keystrokes, if I press command backspace, it actually just deletes the action. So that is basically the point of this video, is to show you how you can actually add a command backspace as a uh, hotkey. Once again, hold down that. There we go. <laughs> and then come out of this. So now I do have my, in case of emergency, in case of scene emergency, return to the previous scene. And if I press that button now, it should take me straight back to the previous scene that was in. So hopefully that will solve my problem of clicking to the wrong scene and then not being able to get back to where I was. And that will always stay in the bottom corner so that I already always know where it is. Part of the problem that I have with Stream Deck, 32 keys is just not enough. I do need, uh, I think, two XLs, <laughs> one on either side to fit on everything. So I'm often sort of moving buttons around and things like that. I've got the core ones in the same place usually all the time, but then I do sort of cycle in different buttons depending on what I'm doing, even just I'm talking about within my Ecamm Live setup. So there's not quite enough there for me. And so what that means is I've often moved buttons around and so they're not quite where I thought they were, hence me sort of fumbling around for them. Well, now hopefully I'll always be able to get back to where I should have been <laughs> using this button. I hope you found that useful. And if you have, as ever, don't forget to go down, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so that you get notified whenever I make any new videos. Uh, but you don't have to wait until then because I've got plenty more videos coming right up. Until the next time, have a great day. <laughs>